the reports this morning about OTF Jam's baby mother, the postal worker being shot in Chicago and all of that shit. Uh, I will say, you know, because the case is pending, I just say that they're wrong, but then, you know, they kind of right too. So uh, back in March of 2024, there was a woman who was shot and killed in Orland Park. Um, she did happen to also work for the U.S. Postal Service and her killers were eventually caught in September of 2024. This woman um, was found in a car that was like parked in a weird part of the neighborhood. It looked like they, you know, lived over there or were familiar with the neighborhood. It wasn't a main street. She was found dead in a parked car um and the doors were open like someone may have been in the car and, and, and hopped out and ran and fleed the scene like i said back in march of 2024 uh she was 28 years old it happened in orland park illinois and you know basically they're what they're alleging is that uh these three gunmen who were eventually arrested um either they was sent the location of otf jam and his baby mother or you know they just happened to see him and you know quickly made the phone call and tried to you know execute the hit on otf jam um it's alleged that um as far back as the death of Lil pab itself that you know otf and Lil dirt had you know their lawyers had ears out on potential people talking and giving information to the feds everybody is getting it wrong about the otf jam baby mother situation not because the story is wrong but because the picture that they're showing of that postal worker was actually a different postal worker that was killed um um in chicago while delivering mail it was two young guys tried to rob her they killed her that's the wrong picture so when you see flacco and academics and all them people they're posting that that's wrong the right the right story we're gonna show it to y'all but the right story is actually that otf jam baby mother was killed um it is alleged and rumors are are spreading that otf was did you know figure out that otf jam was most likely cooperating and they hired some non-otf people to you know go do the hit um they they did not complete the mission but they kill otf jam baby mothers um when the shooting first happened like i said when the police showed up you know they got a call of shooting they show up and it's a car sitting there with the doors open and it's a woman shot so they believe that otf jam you know hopped out ran maybe they lived in that area of the neighborhood he ran back to wherever he was and since then um he's not you know he's been off the radar so uh another thing we had heard was that otf jam uh could potentially not be locked up and that could potentially be you know a story to kind of keep him safe for the situation but after that shooting of his baby mother you know otf jam been basically off the radar this whole year um so yeah we just we ain't really want to you know jump out and and, and and tell all this stuff right away but we saw that a lot of other blog sites a lot of the people was getting it wrong that postal worker that got shot in Chicago, that was not OTF Jam Baby Mother. Uh, uh, you could kind of tell she's like a lighter skin, older lady. OTF Jam Baby Mama was 28 years old. She was a darker skin. She had like real long hair. Um, and when she was killed, you know, she did work for the post office. So I think that's how everybody got it all mixed up was that there's been a few post office workers that got shot this year. Either way, man, this dude OTF Jam has basically been confirmed to be one of the main linchpins of the Fed's case. OTF knew this. They tried to knock him off. Uh, his girl tragically was killed. And, you know, he fled the scene and kind of left her for the police to show up and, and, and put put their own pieces together. Either way, man, we working on like some longer form content. It's been a lot of stuff coming up. So we felt the need to kind of give y'all a little update. But we working on some longer form content, some docs to go with this story. Uh, those take a little bit longer and I like to double triple check everything that I'm doing before I just put it out there. But since this story that came out today, hey, we get y'all the real story, man. It's your boy uh, MRXL Grappo, man. Street Certified News. You know we're going to get y'all the real. We're going to get y'all it right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all my people, man. That's been, you know what I'm saying? Hitting my line, man. My phone been blowing up like the last couple of days. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a head cut, nothing, man. Also, man, hey, that new Call of Duty, man, Black Ops 6 is out, man. I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all check that out, man. That's what I've been on the last couple of days, man. But either way, man, Flacco, Academics, whoever else posted that is wrong. OTF Jam Baby Mama uh, was not the post worker that got killed in Chicago. 
you know, sadly, she was a postal worker and she did get killed, but it was in Orland Park. And, you know, they found her off duty. She wasn't at work. They just found her shot up in a car. Um, oh, that's the other thing. The car was registered to OTF Jam. So that's all that. Like I said, man, I'm sure he left the scene so he wouldn't have to be a witness and, and do all that. But we going to let we going to let man let the people do their job. man. you know what I'm saying? I think that's another thing, too, man. It's a lot of people on the Internet that's like doing their job for them. Let's not do that. Let's let the shit happen and let's report when it's time to report. That's what we try to do at Street Certified News. Again, man, it's your boy. Man, we out. We love you.